Hello, mate. Hi. Nathan. Nathan, John. Nice hey, John. To meet you. How are you? Hey, John. Brian. We've been out since early this morning. We found a specific rhino we've been trying to find for a few months now. Okay, it's a female with about a two year old calf. So we're going to be doing um, a collaring and DNA on the youngster. Sounds good. Good. Let's roll. All right, guys, we ready, eh? Yeah. Okay, you see them there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We want to get that side of it to hopefully dart it so it runs into the open for us. Gotcha. If it runs into the thickets, we might be in trouble. How long do we expect it to run for before it she gets a bit groggy? Five to ten minutes, eh? Oh, OK. No, oh, it's quite long. How often do you dart rhinos? How often are you doing it? Once in its lifetime. Oh, OK. Yeah, unless it gets injured, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, only once. We, we never repeat this. Two is 15 metres. OK. I'm going to go right past the mayor. Just... OK. And she's 25, 22. Don't run this way, don't run this way, don't run this way, don't run this way. Oh, we're not going to stop her. OK, Chris, they're running towards you. Please keep an eye. Let us know when you lose her, eh? White rhino, by the way, just a hundred times easier than black. For what reason? Temperament, behavior, aggression, everything else. We wouldn't even think about doing it like this. We'd, we'd only do a black rhino by helicopter. Ah, oh, OK. Wow. Good shot. At that distance, it's a cock shot. He wants to give it away. <laughs> Brilliant. She's just sitting on the back side, eh? Yeah. There she is. Just straight through there. OK, got See it. Thanks, there. eh? Good morning, Nathan. You just come in and get a view of us. We're going to try and dot the cross, OK? Yeah, hello, look closer. OK, let's just... Oh, boom, to get that. All right, everybody can come in. All right, if you want to get out, you can get out. Um, can you just get some of you guys just to secure for anything else, please? Eh? This rhino has been DNA'd before, and that was part of the notchings that we do. Every time we do it, we take more measurements, more records, we'll measure the horns, and you send all that information through to a central database. Yeah, we're going to get them involved with the uh, sampling and the drilling. Eh? Can I touch your horn? Yeah, yeah, please, Karen. <laughs> Can we get one of you guys here? Yeah. Go. Okay. So we want to get a bit of the, <laughs> the horn sampling as okay. well. Okay. Okay, into this bottle here. So glove on the one hand. <laughs> it's still about there. Your yeah. front horn, sorry. Sorry, thank you. And how far in? It's still about just about an inch in. <laughs> Come out. She's awake. <laughs> Yeah, that's broken off in there. Okay, I'll give you another one. <laughs> There's a black runner watching us from the hills up top there. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Come out of it. Alright, so let's grab that little piece there of DNA with the glove. <laughs> so we just pop that off. Take that. Okay, so, so take, take that, that off. off. Just be careful that the, the microchip doesn't fall out, so just keep it upright. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Good yeah. Carefully. Yeah, there we go. And push it in. And push it in. All the way? Yep. Oh, a bit of resin. A bit of one. resin and a bit of powder. Oh, it sounds like fiberglass. Do you want to do the next one, or are you oh, going to do not, that? I think I'm notching. Quite deep, as deep as you can. And I want to catch it, eh? You ready? Yeah. Say when. Yeah, you can go. OK. OK. And in a, the, that one, we can go. It's fine. OK. Is that a, is that a shit notching? No, no, no. Just the... Where's the old man? Yeah. You can just spray them quite nicely. And the tail here. What are I going to do here? DNA connector, put on your glove. Oh, no. Oh, this is hair. Take some hair, but you know this hair is quite tight. We don't want a hair sample with the roots. Take it like that and pull it off. Pull that tail yeah. off? No, straight straight down. down. Yeah, but they're quite tight, actually. Whatever you've got is that's good. There we are. That'll do. Thank you. 
Uh, listen, guys, listen, if I ask everybody to get on the vehicles, go straight away, hey? Don't try and film anything, just go, because that black rhino's walking this way, OK? And there's a black rhino coming our way, and they're very aggressive. <laughs> and it's every man for himself. And I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw these at Brian's head, knock him out, and then we'll be all safe. It's <laughs> the best thing I've ever done. Ever. And the sticky grand final rings up your ass. <laughs> Take that, Jonathan Thurston. Where is that black rhino? Quickly get the vehicles all the same <laughs> side, please, at the back of the cameras. Thanks, eh? Black rhino's coming. Is it? Yeah. That, that was, was cool. Yeah. It's hard as concrete. Mr. Handyman. I'd hate to see your handiwork at home. <laughs> well, I'm not drilling through rhinos in the vent. Walls don't usually move. Oh, look, she's... Wow. So if this was oh, a black... antidote's work. If this was a black rhino, she'd be straight at us. Yep. We, we wouldn't be here. Oh, she's a bit... Find your bearings. Oh, that's good. How good is that? OK, now we can relax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. job is done. Job, John. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, boys. Thank you very much. Guys. Thank that you for joining us. Thank yeah. you, mate. <laughs> Appreciate that. Well done, boys. There you go, educational. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I did, yes, I was correct. I snapped the drill bit in the rhino's nose. Oh, yeah, right. By accident. Yes. Yeah, but we, yep. had to be, we had to be on our guard then, too, because they said... Because with the poachers, because the, 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 the horn's worth 100,000 a kilo. Oh, yeah. It's about eight, eight kilos per, per horn. Per rhino. So they said a lot of the poachers will be hiding when they, if they've ever darting rhinos like we just did then, notching rhinos like we just did then, they'll jump out because half the job's done. Yeah, right. So they'll just come out and shoot everyone. So we had guards with us and... I think... I, the guards, I think, um, they got licence to shoot on site, haven't they, yeah. with poachers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all yeah. ex-military guys. Yeah. Right. Hang on with something real. So the white rhino... It's got nothing to do with the colour. It's the jawline, isn't it? Yeah, Wide. The, way, the way they eat. It was eat. a misinterpretation. Yeah, yeah. the way they, they eat. But the black rhino that we saw, he was following us around. He was just waiting for us to, to find they're, they're a moment. He was going to go. aggressive. Wow. Of course, you would have stood up to him. Yeah, I would have tried my best. But actually, you know what the, the, the policeman said to me? He said, when you snap the drill bit in the rhino, it's actually work because if anyone happens to poach it and they try to go through an airport, the I think will go thing off. will go off. So he yeah. said, well done. Good work, boys. He didn't actually say that, but I just... Yeah, okay. Yeah, no worries. You're a hero. You really are.